here at Coin Jock Marina. And we just stopped real quick to grab some fuel. They actually have some groceries in there, which is awesome. So we restocked a little bit on groceries. Jody got to walk around a little bit. Sierra's ordering us some lunch for the restaurant. Come here. Some lunch. This looks so good. It's still raining. We were just told at Coin Jock. So two things. First off, we have some current against us, and I was trying to understand what, how that was working with the tide. But these guys were just saying because of the past two days there was a su that super strong south wind. All the water got stacked up, and now that the wind subsided, now all that water is kind of releasing, and that's why we're, we got that flow against us. It's pretty crazy how much current there is just from. Um, wind yesterday and the day before and then the other thing they told us is that uh, the bridge up here is uh, they're doing work on it so they're only opening it like twice a day in the morning and the evening so 7 p.m. and I think we'll just make that 7 p.m. opening hopefully we do if not we have to anchor or dock right before the bridge but um but hopefully we make that opening and can go a little bit further We're just here almost to Norfolk, I guess, waiting for this bridge to open. Railroad bridge opens in like 10 minutes. But hopefully, so hopefully we make it all the way to Norfolk, Virginia today. Anchor there for the night and then either go up the Chesapeake or we have to figure out a route around the coast of Delaware if it's calm. I'm not really sure about the inlets on in Delaware, Maryland, or yeah, the coast of Delaware and Maryland. Coming to another bridge here, Centerville Bridge in Virginia. Oh, we're in Virginia now. We're out of North Carolina. I said before that we had, we don't see a lot of swing bridges, but That's that was what we've been seeing. yeah, that was in Florida. And like the Carolinas and Virginia here now, there's quite a few swing bridges. But this bridge is about to open. Hopefully, we can make this opening. We have a few bridges to go before we get to that one that's under construction. Um, which is only going to open at 7 p.m. and we're really hoping we can make that one otherwise it kills just like two hours of cruising time that we really really need <laughs> if uh, if we weren't in a rush I, w I wish we weren't I wish we weren't chugging along and we could take our time it wouldn't be a big deal we just hang out you know and just uh, wait for the bridge just take our time but unfortunately every hour matters and uh, yeah, because we, we can miss that 7 p.m. opening if we catch like one or two bridges where we miss their opening, have to wait a half hour, you know, it adds up. and So we're getting there. It looks like we'll make this bridge opening because they haven't opened yet. And uh, yeah. So we just called the bridge and they're on a traffic restriction. I guess they have a lot of traffic going across and they're not, it's five o'clock now. They're not opening until six. Usually they open on the hour and half hour. So we have to go slow and just kind of drift around for an hour here. Still got a ways to go to get to it, but that's gonna set us back and I'm not sure if we're gonna make this uh, this other 7 p.m. bridge, so. Ah! What you doing? <laughs> Trying to catch a fish. Sierra's so trying to catch his dinner while we're waiting for this bridge to open. There's the bridge we're waiting to open. The cure, what's it called? Centerville, Centerville Waterway Bridge. All right, bridge is open, finally going through. 
And I made a mistake. The bridge that we're worried about, the Great Bridge, is only, I think, like two and a half miles from here. So I don't think we're going to have a problem making it in time. I thought it was like eight or ten miles or something, but I think I was wrong. I hope I was wrong. So we're just waiting for Great Bridge to open, and once we go through Great Bridge, we have a lock to go through. So we're just getting ready to go through that lock. We got some fenders on both sides of the boat. We'll get some lines on both sides. I'm not sure what side they're gonna tell us to tie up on, but we're gonna have to probably put the tender on one side and we'll tie up to the bulkhead uh, at the lock on the other side. <laughs> Look at all these boats going through the bridge. The barge behind us, back there. It is absolute craziness over here. It's locked. We still got a red light northbound. Can we come alone into the locks? Just another red light northbound. So this guy's trying to get through, and all these boats are just trying to stay out of his way. We're trying to stay out of his way, and then we all have to go in that lock up there. Yeah, but I got about a. And then there's another barge back there that also has to get in the lock. No, no, I look up. Appreciate it, Cap. Uh, yeah. There was uh, quite a cluster down there. Yeah, we tried to make the best of a bad situation. Yeah, that's right. Try to, anyway. That was so sketchy. They had like barges coming through, boats are all bunched up. We're up against a cement wall, and uh, the water current from the barge was like pulling us up and oh, it was just crazy. Oh, here we go, now we're going to the lock. All right, we're in the lock, we're tied up. Leave this line loose when we start going. I think we got a barge coming in behind us. And now we're leaving the lock. So a lock's usually there when there's different water levels on both sides, like that side's a river and this side's getting into the Chesapeake Bay and a lock is there because if the water's high in the river, it locks boats through and helps them lower down to the new water level. We only moved a few inches that time. are steering us into another magical sunset aboard Neverland. Another amazing sunset here. We're in Nor Norfolk now, a really uh, industrial commercial area. A lot of big ships and um, military vessels coming up here as well wow look at that we're gonna end it here you guys and we just want to thank you for coming along i know sierra has a request on jetty's behalf to subscribe to jetty's channel link is in the description and at the very end of this video and you can see what boat life is all about from jetty's wow i can't get over this sunset look at that just check out the links in the description. If you guys want to support our vlogs and our videos that we make, you can do that a few ways. You can share these videos, that helps a lot. You can thumbs up these videos. You can make sure you're subscribed so you watch these videos all the time. And monetarily, if you want to support us, we have a Patreon account so you can click the link below or at the end of this video and become a patron. Or something else that costs you guys nothing is when you do your Amazon shopping, just click the link in the description that says Amazon affiliate link do your normal Amazon shopping. It doesn't cost you anything and it kind of helps us out. We get a small, small percentage of what you spend on Amazon. No extra cost to you guys. And it helps fund our adventures, helps us work our normal jobs a little bit less and make more videos for you guys and keep doing the, this kind of stuff. This is a crazy area. We gotta wait for this bridge to go up. It's a railroad bridge here.